What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for the 2019 Extreme Rules pay-per-view event which will stream this Sunday on the WWE Network Live from Philly. So we kick things so, so we kick things off with actually a rumor. There's been a rumor. I, I, I don't know if the rumors are true, but I want you guys to comment below if these rumors are true. There's been a rumor saying that the saying that the revival are going to be defending the raw tag titles against the Usos. Now if these rumors are true, hands down, Usos. Hands down, I'm 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 saying it now, Usos. Only because of the fact that the Usos are a whole hell of a lot better than the Revival. That's just my opinion. Next up, we have a last man standing match between Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Now, they are advertised and scheduled to be, <clears throat> to be in Philly this Sunday. However, I don't know how the hell Bobby Lashley was able to stand... After what happened last week on Raw. I, I don't know. But Braun Strowman. He might show up. But if he does. It's going to end bad for him. So I'm, I'm going I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley. So next up we have Ricochet. Defending the United States Championship. Against AJ Styles. Um, Honestly, I don't know why AJ Styles did this, but he turned heel. And I can't say I'm not surprised. This wouldn't be the first time he's done. He's he has turned heel. Um Honestly, I think uh per in my opinion, I think he's better off as a babyface because he's had he had such an amazing run. As WWE Champion, as United States Champion, as a babyface. As, as as a heel, when he was WWE Champion as a heel, he didn't have that big, big, or big of a run. I, I think his run lasted from September. Was it September? I believe so. I, I believe so, and the run only only lasted four months, but with his babyface run, it lasted over a year. Um, it, it 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 literally lasted three hundred seventy one days. Um, I kind of figured I kind of figured it would have last lasted a little bit longer, but that's what happened. Um, so he's re so he's reformed the club. And, um, now he has a shot at the United States title. Um, I'm going, I'm just going to say now, I'm going to say, say Ricochet retains, honestly. Because I think Ricochet, you know, honestly, Ricochet has such a big thing going. He, he defeated, he, he literally, def he defeated Smojo at Stomping Grounds to become the, the United States champion. And this is actually his first title. In WWE, so this was so this is a huge thing for him. Um, I definitely believe that he that his title run could go to, could could very well take him far. So ricochet. Uh, we I if I and if I'm seeing this correctly, according to my book here, according to my little book, you guys can tell. Uh, Ricochet is actually scheduled to have his first match ever in WWE since WrestleMania. This will be his first match since then, and no one knows who it's going to be. There have been rumors that there have been rumors that it's supposed to be that it's supposed to be someone who's returning to WWE. Um, but I. Honestly, don't know who it could be. Um, it could be pretty much anybody at, at this point. It could be Buddy Murphy. Could be could be Randy Orton. It could be anybody. So, but it does not matter who else or Black faces. Either way, I I I think it's gonna be one hell of a match. So next up, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Titles on the line as Daniel Bryan and Rowan defend the titles against the New Day. 
and heavy machinery. This is going to be a tough one for Daniel Bryan and Roman because they're going up against two of the top babyface tag teams on SmackDown. You have The New Day, uh, Big E, and, and Xavier Woods, and you got Heavy Machinery, Tucker, and Otis. This is going to be, be interesting. But I think if there's any tag team in this match that can that can win that can win win the titles, uh, I would have to say New Day. I think six time champs are coming up, coming your way, com coming our way, hands down. So next up we have the cruiserweight championship on the line as Drew Gulak. Never thought I would say that Drew Gulak defending, defending. The United States Championship against Tony Nese. Yes, Tony Nese is actually getting his rematch after what happened at Stomping Grounds. One catch. If you guys go back to what I to what I said at the start of the video, yeah, Philly. Drew Gulak is from Philly, which means home field advantage for Drew Gulak. Will they cheer him? Or will they boo him? We don't know. I this is gonna be hostile territories for Tony Nese. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I think uh, Tony Nese's run run was was way too short, and I think he deserves to be champion again. However, how however with this new side of Drew Gulag, I love it. I love this new side. This new side of Drew Gulag. I think it brings out. Who he truly is as a superstar. So I got to go with Drew Gulak. So next up we have the SmackDown women's title on the line. As Bayley will defend her title against now both Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross in a 2 on 1 handicap match. Now if you guys don't, now if you guys did not watch Raw last night. Bayley and Nikki Cross had a beat the clock challenge. Bayley had, had to face again, face off against Sarah Logan. And Nikki Cross had to face Dana Brooke, and whoever, whoever beat the time would be able to pick the stipulation. I believe Bailey got it in four in four minutes, four minutes thirty two seconds. I believe uh, Nikki Cross ended up beating that time with a little under two with a little under two minutes left to spare. So. Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross chose a two-on-one handicap match, injecting herself into the match. Um, I guess it's whoever beats. I guess it's whoever pins Bailey beat becomes champion. I know that this has happened before, um, but who knows? Um, but I gotta go with go with Bliss and Cross. I think uh, I I think Alexa Bliss is well is well overdue. It's been. It's been it's been almost a year since she, since she's become women's champion. Um, yeah, I think she's long overdue. So next up, we have the WWE Championship on the line as Kofi Kingston defends against Samoa Joe. Now, there's been rumors saying that Kofi Kingston is injured. I don't know if these rumors are true. Kofi Kofi has never been injured. You know, he's always showed up to work. He's always showed up to compete. Um, there have been times where there, there's been. There's been a couple times here and there where he doesn't compete. Um, there are times where he does compete, but um, but I think I think I think the fairy tale run could very may well come to an end on, on Sunday with his injuries. But who knows? I honestly don't know. Um, Pretty much any and anything can happen at, at Extreme Rules, but I'm going with Kofi Kingston on this one. Okay, you know what? Th th this next match, on what planet, on what planet will this match, will, will this tag team ever work? Comment below, on what planet will this ever work? We The next match we have on the card is a no hold bar between Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre against Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. On what planet will this team ever work? If you guys remember, two years ago, they beat the holy hell out of each other at WrestleMania. They beat the hell out of each other. Like, to the point where... 
how is this gonna work? I mean, I like, I mean, I mean, do not get me wrong. I, I, I like the tag team. I love it. But it's not going to work. I believe in my, in, in my opinion, I believe this will not work. If it does, I'll, 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 if it does, I will be, I'll be surprised. If it does work, I'll, I'll be surprised. But it's not going to work. Their egos are too much to, mm. I don't know. On what planet will this team ever work? Well, who knows. All I know is that it's no holds barred, which means there could be there there could be a lot of mistakes. And if you guys remember last night on Raw, Shane and Drew McIntyre teamed up to take on Roman Reigns, and what is supposed to be Gary the Goat Garbet, who ends who I believe was a janitor, only for us to realize it ended up being Cedric Alexander. I kind of honestly. I knew, I knew it. W I knew it was Cedric Al Alexander by by the way he, you know, you know, you know, with all the high fly moves and by by hitting by hitting. I I think it was it Shane McMahon, or was it McIntyre? One hitting one of them with the neuralizer. So I knew I I kind of knew it it was Alexander. At the same time, I didn't think think it was. I thought I thought it was actually. You know, the janitor, but... Shane and Drew won, and... Yeah. I think this Sunday... the I, I think this Sunday the, the outcome could be different, but... History can, can, can repeat itself. So, last up, we have... A winner-take-all match. It is under extreme rules... For the Raw Women's and Universal Tiles... As Seth Rollins and Becky will defend their tiles against Baron Corbin... And Lacey Evans. Obviously, Baron Corbin is desperate. He's desperate to be champion because, well, it's Baron Corbin. He doesn't care about about the legacy of the title. He only wants the title just so he can disgrace it. You know, this is their last chance. This is Corbin's Corbin's and Evans' last opportunity at the at the Universal. And Raw Women's Titles. This is the first time ever that both titles are being defended in the same match. Never in history has that ever happened. And I mean, with how I I, I mean I mean with how much chemistry that Seth and Becky have, Corbin and Evans do not stand a chance. So I'm sticking with the man and the Beast Slayer. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So you'll miss out on any new content that comes your way. And comment below using the hashtag WWE Extreme Rules. Let me know in the comments your predictions for, your, for, for each of these matches. And if there are more, any more matches on the card, um... Announced on Smackdown tonight. I will definitely take it to Twitter. And we'll give you guys my predictions for those matches. And on that. This is your boy Nash. Signing out.